Hi, my name is Sean McConkey. McConkey. Sean McConkey. And for the past two years, I've been sneaking into music festivals like it was my full-time job. Uh, he's a photographer, and he's wearing a media pass. I decided to document my journey on a mission to sneak into every major music festival in the world. I'm going to show you how raving single-handedly turned my life around. Bonner is one of the most legendary and longest running music festivals in the world. It created a whole culture around its identity, a whole community of people that return to the farm year after year to spread its message of radiating positivity. And it's something that I've always wanted to experience for myself. So even though I didn't have anyone to go with, I knew that this year I had to take the plunge. And so I did. Oh, I'm going now actually. <laughs> now that... It's a good looking pass. Even though I didn't have a ticket, it was 15 hours and I was driving by myself, I decided to throw everything that I owned in my car and go for it. Fucking basketball, because you don't know when you got a ball up. On the road to Bonnaroo. Here we go, guys, here we go. I don't know if I'm gonna make any friends and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually enjoy myself, but I'm trying to remind myself I'm here as a documentary filmmaker to capture the life of music festivals. Well. We're really doing this. We're really doing this. When I look at myself and I believe myself to be a really shy, introverted person that has difficulty connecting with people and can't really make friends, new friends easily, that's an idea that has to be challenged and questioned and that idea has to change. Oh my God, let's go. Uh, fuck. This is so fucking dangerous, dude. I only cut down four and a half hours, which is crazy. That means I have to drive a lot. But that's okay. I'm prepared for it. I'm not going to stop for a big dinner. I'm just going to go and keep going from now on. I've stopped a lot, but... Even though it's raining out, i got to show you guys what I just found. Down the uh, way here. Look at this. Oh my god. Holy more hours to go so let's just drive straight there I don't have time to fox low oil pressure fuck you know when I get in the day-to-day -day world of like think thinking about my bank account and how much I should tip or like how much I'm spending on this or that it's like you see something like that and it's like Go with the flow. Money is energy. You put it back out, it'll come back to you. Stop being so damn stingy. There's no greed in this world. Or I mean, there shouldn't be. It doesn't do anyone any good. I really just feel great right now and I'm really excited about this festival now. I'm really excited about it. I feel like there's just a light at the end. Yes, 
almost 10 o'clock. I'm five hours away from Bonnaroo. I thought I'd be in some like jubilant mood and feel great, but I woke up kind of sluggish. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know. Anytime I'm in a situation like this, it kind of brings me back to memories of college where I couldn't really meet any friends. And you know, when I'm going into a place by myself, that's, you know, it's scary for me. It's still very scary. I thought I was getting over this stuff, but it's scary. And I mean, this is the honest fear, but like, I'm trying to get through that. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna say bye to this guy. You ready? Take care, man. Have a good one. And we're off, bitches. Let's fucking do this. Bonnaroo is four hours and 58 minutes away. Sneaking in should be interesting. There's no way I get caught though. There's no way. I'm so fucking good at this. But really, I have to work on my mindset. We have to just like feel grateful for this opportunity. We have to feel it. We have to really just feel better. The college years, the college years that I missed, I felt trapped in this mental prison. And I was stuck in a house that I hated and a mindset that I hated. I avoided everybody. I was, oh man, it just wasn't good. But I'm coming out of that, and I think a big part of that is attributable to festivals. And what they taught me about letting go. And coming into the, back into the moment, back into where life is. looking at me anxiety setting back in I'm really fucking nervous about all of this I'm freaking out honestly I'm like really I don't know if I'm tired from the drive or if like it's actually approaching and it's getting real and like now we're here and we're doing this but if I go into this with a positive attitude knowing that no matter what happens, you'll be okay. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. We're gonna fight through this. It's just like some fatigue has set in and some butterflies and some anxiety. Cause like, we're here now. We're 20 minutes away. Camping here? Yeah. Okay, straight down? Thank you. Happy Roo! I 
had to get my car in or else this whole trip, this entire 15 hour drive, all of this was for nothing. How's it going, man? How are you? Yes. You got it. Are you part of production or something? I'll be the only one coming this late. Nope. Call y'all distractors. Sir, what they say about this camera? I, I don't know. We're gonna ask him was he part of production or something. He, he. <laughs> hey, you got a camera pass? Yeah. I you do. have one? Uh huh. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. He got a camera pass. I just had to make sure. I know ones with the big cameras like this have a camera pass. Yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, yeah, I got a media pass. No, that one second. I'm going to be working uh, media for here. I just wanted to come into Jetto Mission. Oh, I got You want to have another like a scan? Uh, he's getting that. I don't know if it's scannable. Cool. Right. <laughs> thank you, man. I'm a good one. Oh my god. Thank god. Thank god. Thank fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh thank god. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Thank god. Oh my god. Hold on. I hope I was recording that. That was fucking crazy. Oh my god, I can't hide my excitement right now. I can't believe I got in. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, got it. On the white line. So I'm here. I made it to bottom. clock 40 minutes I'm gonna stop th overthinking this shit we're gonna go around this campsite right here and we're gonna try to meet as many people as we possibly can we're gonna try to say something to as many different people as we possibly can that's the challenge and right now I'm nervous about going out there because I'm just scared but we're gonna change that oh my god I'm sweaty so, this is it. Oh my god damn, I'm nervous again. Fuck. This is hard, man. Next person we see we're going up and talking to, that's it. Guys, mind if I get a video of the campsite? There's a camera for you. I didn't know, but you want a shot? Travis Scott's best friend. Two shots. Nobody wants to answer me. Where are the shots? Am I the only one doing it? No, I'm the only one doing it. I'm with you. I'm doing it right out of the bottle here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where the shot glasses are. Let's go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> good day, you guys. My man. Is it first real or? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, how do you like it so far? Oh my god, it's like the best. <laughs> this is amazing. Literally all you have to do is do it. That's it. That's literally all you have to do is do it. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. 
That was absolutely crazy, dude. That was crazy. Oh my God. Yo, I just wanna talk to everyone now. Uh, right now, what I do is make baby wipes. You'd be amazed at what goes into that. Toss. Let me get a toss here. Let me get a toss. You got a fucking toss, baby. You, you play with dice? You ever no, play You got, you nah. ever play, you ever play beard dice? Okay, question for you. Beard you ever told you you look like Harry Potter? All the time. Oh, that's I, like, you guys are amazing. You guys have kid ass jobs. Oh, yeah, if I just like get a little sweeping of video. This is the chakras right here. That's right, yo. Beautiful. She goes, you gotta figure out what's within first instead of like trying to lead with just your, your mind. You uh huh. Because you gotta lead with your soul instead. Right. I like right. it. You know, right. I feel it. Right. And that's it how you sense. quiet the mind. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. It shows you the real way. Yeah. You know, because then it's more intuition. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Painting where the man has multiple arms and multiple legs. Oh, right, right, right. And it shows that our face and our body has that same ratio. You can fit the spiral right over it. Oh, God. That's that ratio. Yeah. Some people call it the God ratio. The God ratio. So it's kind of like I my phone. hard to imagine that it's random. Yeah. I love whipped cream, dude. Whipped cream. I've always shit. wanted to see her, but like I, she's always so early in the day. I never get to see her today, though. Wait. Yeah. I'll you be know. in whipped cream for sure, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Happy road. What is this? Bonner or love? Bonner and love. Bonner and love. All kinds of Bonner and love. Write your name. Write whatever you feel. All the modern love.
how I'm seeing myself. It's got nothing to do with the outside. Thank you, Bonnaroo. Days coming out right now. They're coming on right the fuck now. Holy fuck. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I'm right where I need to be. I can do this. Let's do it.
so beautiful here. The people here. It's like just like the best place. It really is. Let me down. I could learn from you. I could learn from you. And it's like those things just like get to your core and you're like, no one's judging you. They're hoping for the best. <laughs> People here are like supportive of each other. It's like so, it's just like so beautiful. <laughs>